Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Bryce Cunningham with Professional Roll-Off Dumpsters, Demolition and Recycling, and welcome to Vlog 3. So a question that everybody is asking is advertising. So advertising can be difficult for some people. Um, if you've never been in business, if you've never been in sales, anything like that, advertising can kind of be confusing. So uh, I just broke it down into two categories. So the first category is going to be word of mouth, uh, different events, stuff like that. And then the second one is going to be social media. So word of mouth. So that can be anything from going to diners in the morning and just meeting people and talking to people, uh, doing events, sponsoring events, uh, going to Home Depot, standing out in the parking lot, handing out business cards. Uh, referrals like customers that you treated well and they refer you to other people so those can all be categorized as word of mouth or in person uh, something like that so I actually did an event it was a car show it was about a month ago now and I would made this exact video uh, but when I went back and looked at the footage I had done it on a GoPro and so it wasn't wasn't the best looking you couldn't hardly hear it and then I was gonna go with it anyways and started editing it and my software crashed. And so I was like, well, I might as well just film it again. And it was a little bit long, so I had a few different things going on with it. So I apologize that uh, I haven't posted in a little while. So I did that car show and I wasn't even standing at my booth the whole time. You'll see in this picture, I had a booth set up, but I left business cards on the table. I have picture frames that I put a piece of paper in that describes my services, prices, uh, contact information, Facebook, all that good stuff. That way people could find me. And I went around talking to people. So I actually sponsored that event. So my name was on the t-shirts, on the banners and stuff like that. Just a good way to get your name out. So when I was selling cars, I associated my name and so my name is Bryce, so I did the Bryce is Right. And uh, whether you're shopping new or used, if you want the best price, come see Bryce. And don't forget, whether you're shopping new or used, if you want the best price, come see Bryce. So I did different stuff like that, um, but something that I learned is just talk to people because if you go up to somebody and you're talking with them, hey, I'm Bryce Cunningham, what's your name? Oh, my name's Albert. Okay, nice to meet you, Albert. Just get to talking with them, ask, ask them what they do for a living. And so they're gonna tell you, well, I'm a welder. Okay, well, that, yeah, that's super cool. And inevitably, they're gonna ask you, what do you do for a living? Oh, I have Prody Dumpsters or I've got American AF dumpsters or whatever it might be and you tell them about it give them a business card hey if you ever need anything or you know anybody that needs anything give me a call I'll make sure and take care of you I'll give you 15% uh, off or whatever whatever you want to say and just tell everybody I mean I can't stress that enough I think you should tell everybody what you do and make a list so something else we did in car sales is we took out a piece of paper and we had to write down a hundred people that we know with their numbers and then after we did that we go through the list and call them and say hey do you want to buy a car whatever are you ready to upgrade your car and so it doesn't have to be anything like that but just check in with people and be like hey just want to let you know I'm in the dumpster business, I'm in the junk removal business, I'm in the demolition business, whatever it might be, and just say, you know, I just wanted to let you know that way if you ever need anything or if you hear anybody that needs anything, you know, you can let them know. And then three months or six months later, go back through the list and call them, hey, just want to check in, say how you're doing, you know, depending on how close you are, how's your mama and them, you know, whatever, and just say, um, well, I was just going to check in with you, make sure you didn't need a dumpster. And as long as you're presenting it in the right fashion, people aren't going to get, I mean, mad about it, I don't think. I mean, I think there's a difference in cold, cold calling people and actually wanting to take care of somebody. And you've just got to take care of your customers. So some other things that you could do in the word of mouth category is go to Home Depot, stand out in the parking lot like 6 o'clock when all the contractors and bosses are coming through there, hand out business cards, uh, go you know sit with your truck or one of your dumpsters and just talk to people 
And um, I mean, if you're really desperate and you really want to make it work and business isn't coming in, then you'll do whatever it takes. You'll sit in Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever it might be, and you will make sure that you're bringing in business. Also, you could go to diners, so that's something that I've done, and just network with people. Um, maybe find somebody that you know that goes to the diner every morning, meet their friends, and then once you're friends with those friends, meet more friends, or just go to a diner and sit with people, go meet people. Um, you know, if you've, got, if you've got some money coming in, pay for somebody's food, like take them to breakfast, whatever it might be, just network with people and get your name out there and because people are more likely to recommend you and talk about you if you're their friend. Um, maybe not always, but you know. So number two, social media. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Social media, make a Facebook page, make a Yelp, make a Google My Business. I know Google My Business isn't technically social media, but online presence is, is more of what I'm talking about because with word of mouth, you're going to reach more of the older crowd uh, that don't have uh, Facebook or social media and don't really get on their phones and have smartphones and stuff like that. But with social media and Google My Business, you're going to be reaching a younger crowd. So I say younger, probably, you know, 30, 40 and under. Um, but Facebook, definitely make a Facebook page, definitely make a Google My Business. Uh, even if you don't post on it for a while, which you should, just go ahead and make it. Just get it up there and that way you have it. And honestly, this is gonna go against social media marketers and people that do that for a living, but honestly, go watch some YouTube videos on it. I mean, some of that stuff, it can get complicated, but a lot of it's not real hard. You just have to be persistent and you can just post you can schedule post on a uh, on a facebook page and so say on sundays which is your day off or if it is your day off just go on and schedule a post whether you want to post every day two times a day every other day every three days just go ahead and schedule those posts ahead of time so that way you don't have to worry about it and just make posts with your dumpsters in it um, post on swap shop i think everybody has swap shop or facebook marketplace Post on some stuff like that. Post on Craigslist. I don't know if you can, but I'm, I think you can post that on Craigslist. Um, just make Facebook posts. Do a, do a giveaway. If you like and share this post and like the page and share the page or whatever, do like a $100 giveaway and a T-shirt and a hat. And, you know, there's different ways that you can you can grow that stuff. And I don't have all the answers. I mean, I've done some social media marketing and stuff like that, but... That's a, another video, and if you want to see that video, uh, put it in the comments, and I can kind of elaborate a little bit more on that, but I'm definitely not an expert in that field. Um, but just post stuff, and on Google My Business, get reviews from your customers. That's a huge thing, and customers are stubborn, and they don't want to give reviews, but not hound them, but just send them a message. Put a link, so all they got to do is click on that link on their phone and type it up. Make sure you're getting reviews because... Uh, I know for me, when I'm looking at a new business, if I'm gonna rent from them or buy something from them or whatever it might be, I'm gonna go on Google and look at their reviews and see how they do business and if they're highly recommended. And also on Google, when you get <clears throat> reviews, it's gonna put your Google My Business higher up, I'm pretty sure, but uh, use, use keywords on Google. Um, I'm kind of just spitting a bunch of things out, but, um, I can elaborate a little bit more on it in another video, but I would be posting every day, two times a day, and make sure you're just out in front of people. And that's that's the main thing. I mean, I can sit here and, and talk about different ways you can advertise and different ways you can market, but the main point is just be in front of people and make sure everybody knows you because they need to know, hey, Bryce is doing dumpsters, Bryce is doing demolition, and uh, Joe, Joe Johns is doing uh, tree removal, whatever it is, just make sure that you're known because people can't call you if they don't know about you. And so you want to make sure that people know about you. And there's different, 
I mean, not everybody has the budget to post a bunch of ads and stuff like that. And you don't even have to post ads if you don't want to. I mean, once you start building up your, uh, you know, your money, you'd want to start posting ads or hire a social media marketer or whatever. But it's not mandatory that you post ads because, I mean, you can do the word of mouth things. I mean, you could stand in Home Depot parking lot. You can go sit at diners, you can go to events. Even if you don't sponsor an event, you can go to events and talk to people. Wear your hats, wear your work shirt, uh, bring you some business cards and hand them out. Always have business cards with you. So that way if somebody needs one or even if you're just talking to somebody, hey, if you ever need anything, just give me a call. All right guys, I know this video wasn't very much in depth and it was kind of all over the place. Uh, but I'll go more in depth on some of these things. If there's anything that you want me to break down, um, like I said, I don't have all the answers about everything. Um, some stuff I research just so I can make a video about it. Um, and some stuff I've had a little bit of experience with just because I was in sales for a while. So uh, some different marketing things and, and advertising I've done before. And so I've got a little bit of experience with that. But if you want me to break down any part of this video and make a video about it and kind of elaborate a little bit, then go ahead and email me or leave it in the comments. And don't forget, if you liked this video, comment, subscribe, like it, uh, tell me what you did and didn't like, that way I can fix it. But I will see you guys in vlog four.